about it. These two are nothing but a pair of couch potatoes. They're making a fool out of you. Don't you think you're being a bit harsh? No, they've been living under your roof for three years and have not paid a single penny in rent. It's time to kick them out of here. Hey, what are you two talking about? Who do you think you are saying stuff like that? I just want justice. You two are taking advantage of Ned's good heart. Hey, we've tried to get jobs, but it's not easy. You should know this substitute teacher. How dare you? You think enough! All of you! Dewey, Anna, Patty's right. The guys have never paid rent. Ha! And Patty, you can't just kick them out. They have nowhere else to go. Ha! Nah! I'm off. I'm going to help my mother, you know, contribute to society a little. You ought to try it sometime. Have a nice day, Miss Clueless. I've got to go as well, guys. But look, I like you, but I do need some help from you guys. It's getting harder to pay the rent by myself. Just promise me to find a job. Promise, Ned. Tell me what we're Yeah, promise, Mum. We got this. Thank you, guys. Goodbye. Oh, man, I feel so bad for Ned. Yeah, he's always been so kind to us. Guess we better get off our bums and get a job, won't I'll get it. Hello, is that Mr. Ned Schneebly? That depends who's asking. Principal Mullins, I'm the principal of Horace Green Prep and we're having a little emergency here. Two of our teachers fell ill and all the substitute teachers are already working. Oh, that is bad news. You have no idea. Anyway, I was recommended I should contact Mr. Schneebly and Miss Patty DiMarco. Do you happen to know if they're available to start immediately? Yeah, they're totally available. Wonderful. I shall wait for them at 8am in the reception area. See you then. What's going on? I've got us a job, that's what. Really? Oh yes, Mr. Marco and me, Mr. Schneebly. I'll to be at the Horace Green Prep School in an hour's time. We can. We should tell them and Patty. Or we could go work at the school for the day and get some money to pay back Ned and get Patty off our backs. But we are not trained teachers. They are. How hard could it be to sit in the classroom for the day? And what if they catch us? What if they don't? I, I don't know. Come on, Anna! We need a job and then we get a call off and a job. It's faint. Oh, 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 fine. Come on. Yes! Let's go. Good morning, Mr. Schneebly and Mr. Marco. I cannot thank you enough for filling in at such short notice. You both came highly recommended. Ah, don't mention it. Yeah, but it's cool. Your classes are in the And no one in the hallway! Smith and Layton, you will be in detention if I catch you running around here again. This is a school corridor, not a plane field! Sorry, sir. Yes, yeah, sorry, sir. As I was saying, the students are in the music hall. All right! We are extremely proud of how musically gifted our students are here at Horace Green Prep. I'm sure you will be bowled over with what you are about to hear. Sounds great. We Horace Green, we march in love. teachers by the end of the week, so work hard and remember you are an ambassador, not only of Horace Green Prep, but of yourselves as well. Yes, Mr. Horace! Are you thinking what I'm thinking? We could leave now with no harm. No. Rock band! Did you just hear the same thing that I did? Oh. They just need a little help from us. We can form a band, enter the battle of bands, win, and pay back Ned. And we can get pay off our backs. Oh, let's do this. Sir, 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 sir. Uh, yes. Uh, take your bell. Her name is Summer, sir. Yes, Summer. As class representative, I'd like you to welcome to our school. Thanks, dude. 
Do you? You don't look like a teacher. And you don't sound like a teacher, and you don't sound like a teacher. And yet here I am. What's wrong with Mrs. Phillipson? I heard he had chicken pox. Grown-ups don't get chicken pox. Yeah, they do. My yeah. uncle got it. Shut up, Lisa. Sir, Tia told me to shut up. Hey, hey, hey guys, let's not start each other. A band needs to be cool with each other. Band? Yeah, you can tell me a band. We are a class and not a band. Mr. Phillipson would never call us a band. Well, Mr. Phillipson is crazy. You guys should trust us, shouldn't they, Mr. Marco? Excuse me, Miss. I think Sir's so, trying to speak to you. Oh yeah, Mr. Marco, we've asked me in the ward and in the flesh. Oh, don't, don't, don't worry, guys. Mr. Marco is probably still a bit hungover from last night. <laughs> Look guys, we have an exciting project. Yeah. Project. Is this band the project? Yes, the band's a big part of it. Will we be graded on it? There is more than three you ever heard. <clears throat> How will we get it on in here? Say it again. Will we be graded on it? The most awesome grading you've ever heard. <clears throat> How will we get it along? Oh, you come in three days. You've not done that sort of English in days. I know, isn't it three? Yeah. I'm not sure my parents will be too happy. We don't have long to go into the, the, the grading, but you're all doing absolutely fantastic. I can't believe I can actually play the drums. I just want to hit it so hard. It's great, isn't it? Let it go, Trixie. Hit those drums. In fact, we all need to hit those drums. Someone trying to downplay the movement, saying it's all some waste of time. We call him the man. Rock and roll! Yeah, rock and roll! It's all about resistance, rebellion, make everyone see how powerful we are, and no matter how hard they try, they will never crush our dreams. That, that sounds amazing. It is amazing. I want you all to think of something that really annoys you, something that really, really winds you up, and then think about all those feelings. Let them flow and don't give any of them to yourself. I hate it when my parents make me play my little brother. Great, hit that drum. I hate it when Mr. Ferguson gives us homework on the weekend. Yes, yes, let it all out. This is great. We call this sticking it to the man.